In this tutorial we will learn how to create a calendar that mimics the resoprint effect without the use of a resoprinter. We can use this effect in many other projects, but first we're going to learn what's resoprinting. Resograph is a co-printing method that runs a paper through rotating ink rollers while using a microperforated template. The number of cylinders determines the number of colors of the ink that is used, which is derived from soybean. Resograph has unique printing characteristics that give it personality rather than being seen as an error. We are going to be mimicking that effect and those characteristics using Clip Studio Paint. With every project we start, it's important that we always do some research before getting hands-on with our design process. We can research for graphic styles, layouts, colors or any other thing that we might deem important. There are different styles of calendars depending on the layout and depending on the time. We are going to choose the style that fits better with our needs. In this instance, we're going to be creating a monthly calendar with some space for our notes. First, we're going to be creating a new file for the sketches. An A4 or 150 dpi will be good enough to start with the main elements of our calendar. The main typographic elements of our calendar are going to be the months, day of the week and the number of each day. That's all we're going to be needing. We're going to look for a typography that's easily readable, big enough to be seen from a certain distance and it has a style that fits with a print style. Adding graphic elements to our calendar is not really needed. We can create it without using lines or grids, but I think it makes it easier to keep things clean and tidy if we're planning on writing notes on our calendar. It also helps with the readability of dates. So we're going to be creating a grid, leaving some space for small notes, stickers or whatever we want to put there. Our lines are going to be thick enough to be seen from a distance if we decide to print them in a light color. For the illustrations, we have to keep in mind that it's going to be easier to work with plain colors or cell shading. We are going to choose certain elements for each month, like flowers for March, be titans for July or spooky things for October and we're going to be creating something similar to a pattern for each of the months. Anything that's too complicated or has many details will make it harder to make our illustration look like Resoprint. We'll be adding some noise at the end of the process, so we'll have to keep that in mind in case we want to add very small details. Our illustrations are going to be simple and we can add an outline if needed. As we stated at the beginning, Rizzo printing has a limited amount of colors, depending on the number of cylinders. Here we don't have the limitation, but we are going to limit ourselves to make it easier to create that Rizzo effect without the Rizzo printer. We are going to use only three colors, yellow, blue and pink. We are going to be layering those three colors to achieve a dark color, but in case we want to go even darker, we could add black. If we are going to create both versions of the same calendar, we can use different layouts for each type. We might need more space on the physical one than the digital one, or maybe we want to use it to write down notes with our iPad. In this case, the layout is going to be different. For the one we're going to print, we're going to place the illustration on top. 
Below it, we'll put the name of the month and then the grid with the days. For the digital version, the illustration is going to be on the left, the read on the right, and the name of the month is going to be positioned vertically in between those two elements. We're going to leave some space in both designs so we can write a note on each day. The first stage of our project is almost finished by now. With the research done and the rough sketches we made, we can now move on to the final part of the design. We'll see the final stage on the next part of this tutorial. Clip Studio Paint